Hi everybody, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cakes, and we're going to get a little batty for Halloween with some wet on wet bats and royal icing transfers. So let's begin. To create the plaques for the transfers, you'll need a plaque cookie cutter and an edible marker. My marker is from Rainbow Dust and my plaque cutter came from Copper Gifts. Just trace it on a piece of paper and then add some cellophane over it. With a number three nozzle and 15 consecutive royal icing, go ahead and flood your plaque design. Use your scriber tool or a toothpick to distribute the royal icing evenly around your design and to pull out the pretty plaque swags. Now with a number one black flood consistency icing, Pipe two dots and a circle and fill it in. Bring up the wing of your bat, easing up with the pressure as you get to the edge of your wing. Fill your black bat in completely. Go ahead and make another bat at the other corner. Now with your scribe tool, pull up the airs to a point. Bring out the middle of your bat and then bring out the edge of each wing. Now go ahead and draw down from the middle between the two points. So you have four equal lines coming down to create that webbing of the bat's wings. Repeat on the next bat. Go ahead and pipe a smaller bat right between the two. Again, pull up for the points of the ears, pull down the middle, each of the edge of the wings, draw a line to the center, and then two lines on either side. Put it in a dehydrator or in front of a fan for about two hours and allow it to dry overnight. To achieve the same effect on a sugar cookie, you're going to pretty much do the same thing, starting with a number three nozzle and gray royal icing wet on wet, wet consistency. Go ahead and flood in your cookie. Once again, use your scribe tool to evenly distribute your royal icing and to bring out the image of that plaque cookie. Pipe two dots, a center dot, and bring your wings out. Fill that bat in completely. And then with your scribe tool, pull up each air.
Repeat with your little tiny bat. He's the background bat. Once you're satisfied with your bats, go ahead and place the cookie in a dehydrator or in front of a fan for two hours, afterwards letting it dry overnight. Now take a larger plaque cookie and with a number three nozzle and flood consistency royal icing, go ahead and fill in your cookie. This cookie is much larger, so you're going to want to work twice as fast. Using your scribe tool, again, evenly distribute your royal icing and bring out the swags of your plaque. Now with a number one nozzle, pipe some black circles and then add a little bit of white and swirl your rose. In case I forgot to tell you, we're adding roses to each corner. Repeat on the other side of the cookie, just piping in some dots, adding a small amount of white with a parchment comb with a very small hole. Taking your scriber tool, start swirling it around and then drawing out your petals. Either using a parchment comb or a tipless bag and some flood consistency light green royal lighting, pipe a leaf shape under each of your roses, which is just a teardrop. Then add a little dot of dark green and use your scribe tool to draw out that leaf. Once you're satisfied with your leaves, you're going to go ahead and add in your bat plaques. From a low distance, carefully put it in place. It should go over a few of those roses. If you nick it, just use your scribe tool to fix it. With a zero nozzle and rub down um, soft consistency royal icing, just follow your plaque and pipe a line in between the two plaques.
Now repeat the exact same process to pipe a line on the bottom part of the plaque between the cookie and the dark gray. When you're mixing your gray colors for your plaques, the inside one should be lighter by two shades. So you want the larger plaque to be two shades darker of whatever shade grade you choose. How fun was that? Check back next week because I'll have another fun Halloween tutorial for you. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.